Okay, I took the fuchsia and I colored these balls here, these little circles. And um, what I want to show you is you can get a darker tone of the same color and get an, sort of an effect of shadows, but it's not nearly as dramatic as if you use a color that is across it on the color wheel. In this case, I have leaf green. Oh, it's a little too close for you to see. Okay, leaf green focus. Well, it's leaf green. All right, this one I'm going to leave just like it is so that you can see the difference. I'm going to go ahead and add. Now remember, it didn't matter if I put the green on or the pink on first because it is going to blend once I activate it. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to just do some little feathering to come up into here so that we get that rounded kind of effect. If I, if I continue to go like this, what happens is even though you wet it, the pigment can end up leaving streaks and then your eye stops. So if you really do want this to look like it's going down like this, you need to be careful or mindful of the direction that you are applying your pigment. All right, let's get some of this half and half. And I'm going to wet this. And look how amazing that is. And let's uh, blend that up in there. Clean my brush so I don't have any green in it. And then we're going to go over here. I'm almost out of the mix, but I think I've got enough. I'm going to go in here and just do the mix on just the fuchsia. You know, the great thing is there's so many ways you can do this to get a different effect. And and they all, there's nothing wrong or perfect about anything. It's just it all flows. It's so cool. I love painting. And really, having using the medium like this on the fabric, your fabric stays really soft. It activates this. After it dries, I press it and heat set it and it is permanent. It is so nice. Okay, look at the difference. By adding that green, which is across the color wheel, you got a definite dark, dark shadow. If you just want to get the same color, but it's basically midday and you're not going to be really in heavy shadow anywhere, then you could just use the color itself, like the green. The green you can hardly see where we put that. Oh, let's add a little bit more to that and see what that does. I'm going to use a little bit darker purple here. And we're just going to come in and feather it in. It's still wet, so maybe that shouldn't be doing this, but... Hmm, I don't like that. Okay, well don't do that. 